following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to give my little video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're following me on any and all the social media I have linked down below. That way, if there's a band, song, video, something you want me to check out, you can hit me with a DM or you can leave it in the comments below. If you are going to hit me with a DM, please no spamming. If you are going to leave it in the comments below, do me a favor, join the I Concur Army. All you have to do is give the comments a cursory glance. If you see your suggestions already been made, all you have to do is like that original suggestion and below reply with I concur. That'll help my old burnout resin coated DJ brain get everything into a nice little organized list and I can put it in the handy dandy notebook. And we're also streaming twice a week, Wednesdays, 11 a.m., Saturdays, 2 p.m. Almost forgot when I went live. Um, and another opportunity for you to get directed to how to get your suggestions to me. So the YouTube's link below, all the social media's link below. If you want to help support the channel, help it grow, we have a Patreon link down there as well. A couple of different tiers you can join. Everything that goes into the wild side helps the wild side improve. More content, better equipment, things like that. So help the channel grow, become a Patreon member. Before we get started today, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming from Facebook. That's right. Facebook friend reached out and said, hey, man, it's been a while since you've done Nemophila. You should check out this track. So today we are back with Nemophila. Uh, I hope I'm saying the, that correctly. I'm, again, new to all of this, so I'm relying on you, my music Sherpas, to guide me on this new music journey of mine. Let me know down below everything I need to know about Nemophila. I hope I'm saying the song correctly. Oran, help me out. That's why you guys are here. So anyway, we're checking out the new Nemophila. At least it's new to me anyway. Here on the wild side. Let's check it out. Oh, Ron. Okay. Nice transition.
Okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. Yeah, okay. So now you can figure it out. It, it's it's real simple. So when you ask the question, why do so many old school metalheads love Nemophila? It, the answer is you had to be there. Right? Like you had to be there with infectious groups. You had to be there with early chili peppers. And you had to hear those classic funk metal tones that slap metal, that slap bass metal tone. Then you combine that with those Malmsteen, Harris, Dickinson, Maiden-esque power, drop in some Metallica riffs, and then create this modernity to the overall presentation of these classic tones. They're just dripping in these classic funk metal, thrash metal tones to create this new direction that i really enjoy what they're what they're doing it's like a rhythmic funk metal and i like that you know like when infectious grooves came out um god what was the song what our station got i think the first single off that infectious grooves record was punk it up was that is that right but it had that really cool bounce to that thrash and it and it blended the two real well, so it drew you in and it allowed you allowed yourself to get away from the slam and more into the rhythmic ebb and flow of a metal track, and that's what they're bringing here. And I really think that's cool. It's smart. It's very smart that they're they know how to tap in to that twin guitar harmony that thrash metal harmony. They, they tap right into it, but they bring this really cool modern rhythmic twist to it that adds that funk. It's really tight pocket. I'm watching the drummer. I think she was wearing a Sublime shirt. Um, I think I actually have one from a show. Uh, I'm watching that drummer super tight, super tight, and I, I mean that spatially as well, right? Like if you look at her kit, if you look at the way she's set up, she's set up real close. So everything's real close. And it takes a certain precision to drum that way in that environment. A lot of times that you're going to see things out and up. She's got everything packed in. And, and she's real, it's going to be weird when I say it, but she's real gentle. <laughs> she's real gentle with her fills and rolls and transitions. And what it, what it does is it becomes seamless. So when you're going at one tempo and then you drop that tempo into that break, into those solos, even that, you can barely hear that transition. So when it happens, there's no, there's no edge to it. It's a nice, smooth, almost like how a lava lamp exists. You know, it's a really good expansion and contraction while breaking into its own little elements, then coming back together again. That main blob is the bass and drum, and it's bringing everybody back every now and again when they branch off and do their own thing. So her ability to create and control those bridges with that bass player, create this foundational color pattern that is reminiscent of those dirty earth tones, of those really groovy 
gritty, dirty chord, thrash metal tones. And then the guitars come in and they add that really cool harmony that, that again, are taking you back to, I call it top-down metal, right? You're in the car, tops down, windows down, you're blasting. That's what that is. That is really good thrash metal right there. And I, I find the, the generational gap to be bridged by bands like Nemophila. So when you say, why do old school metalheads, while they have all of their new fans, they have all of their modern fans, there is a great proportion of old school metalheads who are attracted to Nemophila. And when you say why, there you go. You had to be there. You had to be listening to Prong. You had to be listening to um, Suicidal Tendencies and Infectious Grooves. You had to be listening. You had to be there for the Chili Peppers Mother's Milk. You had to be there for that. You know, the fall of 91 when Blood Sugar Sex Magic dropped, along with Metallica's Black. So it was boom. You know, chocolate in your peanut butter. You got your peanut butter in my chocolate. You got your funk in my metal. You got your metal in my funk. And this is the child of that. <laughs> so, yes, there's a massive appreciation for them. The visual aspect of it is, is a side accoutrement. The real draw here is that it is steeped in holy tradition of thrash metal while introducing those old school metal heads to a new direction of that thrash funk metal. And they do it very well and they do it digestibly. So you're able to see it for the first time and go, okay, dude, I dig this. <laughs> this is something I really dig. So well done, Nemophila. Again, let me know down below with everything I need to know about the band, the album, the song, whatever your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your stories of shows, whatever it is you want to share with us, make sure you put it down there in the comment. But make sure you're liking the video. Make sure you're sharing it. Help the channel grow. Make sure you're clicking those links and following me on any and all the social media. Become a Patreon member. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the wild side. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. Wild Side.